and welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Waldburg und Bushcraft and today I am outdoors with Marina. Hello. You know her from our... Um... Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Waldburg und Bushcraft and today I am in a company with Marina. Hello. You know Marina from our island trip. It was really funny. And today we are in, a, in another beautiful landscape. We are in a ravine and we follow a very beautiful mountain creek um, up to the hill and had a very nice place for stay overnight. If you want to see this beautiful trip, stay tuned.
water with us in our backpacks because we our way is the wool um, time long at this river and I had the water filter with me so when we are thirsty we can just go down to the water and drink fresh mountain water with the Grail water filter press.
what a beautiful view to the mountains till yet we only see one place where we can stay overnight and this place we're at the beginning of the way so we check out the way up here if there is another place and if not we had to go down Here is a small path um, across to the normal way and I follow it a little bit and I see that behind um, this trees here is a waterfall and behind the waterfall it looks like there is a cave and we want to check it out now. amazing but the cave looks from here bigger than it is and I I hope I, I had the hope that we can go inside and maybe stay there for the night but it is too dangerous because when it rains um, someone very higher in the mountains I can't see it or I don't know it here and then the, the flash flute comes and then there is no way out so it is too dangerous we go now back the way to the first place that we see at the beginning of the trip because this is a really nice place where we can stay overnight. In welche Richtung dann die Öffnung? Wir haben zwei, zwei Öffnungen. Weil? Achso, ja, aber wo bist du? Achso, ich werde es mal aufbauen. Und dann können wir ja schauen, bevor wir es festmachen, wie wir es drehen. This is the place where we want to stay for the night. We had very much um, place here. Tonight we sleep in the tent because um, it can be that the nights are here very cold. The cold, airs, the cold air is always um, over, the, over the, the ground, over the earth and the uh, cold air came here um, in this creek down from the river and in combination with the cold water um, the night can be very uncomfortable and so we sleep in the tent. 
And we also find out that another bushcrafter sleep here also because here is such a wall and in the background there is an old fireplace and very good now good one with big stones around and small stones in the middle and we will use this fireplace of course too. This is our luxury sleeping place for tonight. It is a new tan that is from MS Air Carbon Flex 2 for two persons and the color is perfect for bushcraft. Almost in the winter time I love to sleep in the tent because it had a better isolation and it is it is um, yeah you feel you feel better into the tent not every time but sometimes and I got this from the website door out this is in cooperation um, thank you for sending me this tent and I will test it um, this is the first time I use it and um, I am interesting how often I will use it how it works um, but the first sign is very good I love it I love the color I love the space and it is so easy to build it and yeah I will let you know what I think It is always a good feeling to know that you can sleep dry and warm and I'm always happy when my sleeping setup is ready. At first I thought there isn't enough space for um, the two sleeping pads but it fit perfect and for a um, weight from only one, um, one lip and 13 OZ it is really big. I love it. Marina is rebuilding the wall that nobody can see our camp. The way isn't so far away, so it is better to have something to cover. No, I love it. We think that our campfire place had a little bit, um, had a not enough stones, so we collect some more. like this is the fireplace better because it is a more safety for the sparks and we we put this leaf around away so that it is so safe as possible and now we are collecting for firewood there is enough firewood but of course the way are difficult and we are searching for some really dry wood that we had on good fire but we had we had to walk to wait till it is a little bit darker.
important bushcraft hack. If you forget your pillow or you want to save the place in your backpack and want to sleep with a pillow, you can use these bags from the sleeping bag. You can put dry grass or dry leaf inside and then you had a very, um, very nice pillow for the night. At first we want to wait with the fire till it is getting a little bit darker but now it begins to rain so maybe we had to start the fire earlier that we had a warm dinner. We start now to make the fire and for the safety we had here this dry bag. Here is water inside. You can use it um, that your stuff stay dry but you can also carry water with it and it is perfect because here are seven liter inside and if something is with the fire you can you had very much water close to your fire it is super practical We had today to eat something ready cook it. I cook it at home. It is some cereals and vegetables and a little bit of chicken. And I only had to make it warm now. It is very fast and very easy. Perfect for outdoors.
We had now a very good lunch and are now tired. It was on it was not a heavy day but you feel your muscles after this trip and now we enjoy to um, to go into our sleeping bags and we hope that we had a well night. We enjoy now the fire a little bit and go then to bed. We see us tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good morning! Here in Germany we say the early bird catch the worm. So um, the earlier you stand up in the morning the better things you see because you are alone everywhere and we woke up very early this morning but the sun isn't out anymore and we had no more motivation to stand up so we enjoy a little bit our sleeping bags and now we stand up and make breakfast, we had cereals and make a coffee and then we want to discover something, something new for us and yeah, stay tuned! Marina made us for breakfast a kind of porridge with cereals, nuts, is it rosin? The rosins. English word? Rosins, yes. <laughs> and some um, power food and everyone that eats porridge knows that it doesn't look um, delicious. <laughs> but um, it, it tastes good, we make it with warm water and we hope that we get a lot of power out of it for our trip today. We both light the tent a lot. When we lay it is perfect. The only bad thing is that the entrance is a little bit too small so you can't sit in the entrance to put off your shoes. You had to um, be like this and you can't sit into the tent that is not high enough that you can sit. You had, um, had to do everything while you are laying. Um, but for this weight it is absolutely okay for me because for trekking trips or a trip into the mountain like today it is perfect and I don't want to carry so much weight with me. Um, and it is better than on bivouac back when you are with another person um, on the way. So I like it and I 
think I will use it very often now. For the winter months, a tent is perfect for the isolation. For a trip like this directly on the water, a water filter like this is perfect because you don't have to carry water, you only have to carry that water that you drink in this moment. And when I'm at a normal trip, water is always that thing that um, had the most weight in my backpack and I am a person that don't drink enough and then it is easy to save weight in the backpack with the water to say no I don't need so much and this is the wrong way I know it is it is absolutely wrong and um, yeah like this like like a at this trip a water filter into a bottle integrated is perfect but um, this bottle isn't lightweight it is also a little bit of weight I I don't had it in the head how much weight it is but um, so I only had to carry the water that I need in this moment. And I drink at a water filter bottle and Marina drink out of the clean canteen and I always filter the water for us both. And so this is, this is very easy. And now I make another portion of clean and fresh water for our way because we had um, a lot of way that we had to um, go now and then we are ready here and enjoy the nature a little bit more. We remove now every sign of us, every sign of the night that we spent here. We rebuilt the campfire place. We left only the small stones like they were before here. You know, you know, you remember it was on campfire place here. Yesterday as we found the place we only make it bigger and the bigger stones are now away and we put again leaf on top and some branches and also the leaves at the place where our tent stand in the night um, we make them fluffy again so nobody can see that we spend the night here the only thing we left is this wall here because it was also at yesterday we only put some branches too and nobody can see this like nobody know that this isn't natural, so we can left it.
up on this hill is our next stop. Let's see what it is. Here we are, this is on Castle Ruin. It looks after all those years very good, but see yourself. We had now something to eat or to drink. You know I like to cook fresh when I am at a trip, but it is not always possible. At the first day it is often possible that I cook fresh with um, cereals or rice or vegetables or meat, but at the uh, next days it, um, it isn't possible that you always cook fresh because fresh cooked meals look, need a lot of place in your backpack and now I had an alternative when I am at a trekking trip or in the mountains I had this U food and um, it is everything that you need at uh, you need to eat or to drink there are a lot of minerals green, uh, minerals inside and vitamins and this is with coffee I hope it tastes good for mountain trips or trekking trips is this great because you need no fire you can drink it cold and um, the only bad thing is that you had the plastic and you had to carry the plastic bottles the whole, um, the whole way but you can make it very small when they are empty and then it is okay. Prost! Yeah. <laughs> Gut schütteln. Mhm. Das haben wir ja jetzt. Guten Appetit. <lacht> Danke. Gleich mal. Und mein schmeckt gut. Mhm. Ja, wie ein Milchshake. Mhm. It tastes very delicious, like a milkshake. And my stomach is full but of course this is also a lot to drink and um, it should it should deliver energy for a long time then and it isn't something for me for every trip but for several day trips um, trekking or in the mountains it is okay and it tastes very good yes but of course um, the plastic 
you had the plastic and you had to carry the plastic so it isn't my my first um, the first thing that I will use but it is a good alternative That was it. Our trip is now over and we are driving home now. It was a very nice trip. It was a nice mix, a little bit adventure, a little bit culture, a little bit... Um, no, not a little bit, a lot of nature. <laughs> and we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. It was a really great trip. Thank you for joining me and we see us again at the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ist auch scharf? Du bist heiß. Dann komm. <lacht> Leist in der Gesellschaft. Ist noch heißer. <lacht> Christi und herzlich willkommen. <lacht> Christi und herzlich willkommen zurück. Ich bin die Vanessa Blank von Auto Bavaria und heute unterwegs mit der Maria. Ihr kennt sie aus dem Video.